Hi friends, so uh, today's video is going to be about uh, the Himalayans cluster or the speedometer uh, as we all know has a tendency to leak uh, water into it and most of the times even if it's not raining heavily there's just a gentle shower there is a accumulation of uh, moisture inside which kind of clouds the screen so uh, today's video is going to be about me trying to share with you all of you one-stop solution for that the uh, best way to go about uh, removing the speedo console out of this whole assembly is to loosen these bolts one here and one here lower the uh, headlamp assembly and you have easy access from the bottom to work on these three bolts you you can undo them and the speedo console comes out without much difficulty first thing that i do is uh, i put a knife in between the uh, plastic end caps and wiggle it around and then it's just super easy to pull out yeah got my one side out shove this in just move it like that and pull it out next what you have to do is run uh, a number uh, six allen key into the socket and if you want to know about the tools that i'm using kindly go and check the um, video that i've made on uh, my toolkits there's a detailed description of all the tools that i possess and uh, uh, the various end uses of the same so loosen one side to a certain degree move on to the other side and the rest of it is pretty self-explanatory now what you do since you have uh, undone the two bowls and uh, lowered the uh, headlamp assembly is you take a 10 mm spanner and you move to the underside of the uh, housing but before that what you need to do is um, unplug this this is the uh, wiring harness this that uh, goes and plugs into the speedo console you will have to press on the bottom side of it like there's a small lever like thing at the bottom press on it and it comes out without any issues so the rest is just the 10 mm bolts that come off like this now because you don't need the headlamp for the time being you can once you've unplugged all once you've unplugged this adapter and removed all three nuts what uh, is left to be done is put back the headlamp assembly and just fasten it temporarily for the time being because you don't want it hanging around like that so and then the speedo console comes out like that and there you go that's the speedo console hi friends uh, this is the cluster removed from the motorcycle as you can see you have three bolts here this particular speedometer console gets mounted onto the uh, subframe of the motorcycle with the help of these three bolts 
these are support arms that you can see onto which you have uh, steel uh, spacers or washers and uh, nuts well, that's the setup what we are interested in is not them we are going to be removing these tiny phillips head screws i guess eight of them and then you shall see so what i have with me here is uh, wipes this comes in all sorts of things if you buy new uh, bags and uh, pouches leather goods you will find them inside these absorb moisture and uh, they swell up after they've absorbed their share of moisture um, and it also has uh, this breathable uh, surface with which uh, there's an exchange of uh, gases that happen so uh, this can be kept inside we'll have to find out a suitable location to shove this in somewhere here or there so that this keeps absorbing the moisture that gets collected inside the console and that's how simple the job is so let's just get started with the whole thing turn the console around this is my it's pretty easy to strip them if you're not too careful with your force that you generate so please be a little careful and that's that three six nine of them in total so now what we do is we gently try and move this or pull this once you see it open up on the sides what you see here as this white paste or white liquid is me pouring in some rubber gasket maker uh, just to make it airtight but even then water has a tendency to uh, seep in or moisture does collect so what you should be very careful about here is to not crack the plastic surface you may need an exacto blade like this if you poured in this white paste then the best thing to do is run this exacto blade across the whole thing and it comes off pretty easily so that's that this is how you slowly but steadily remove the casing so the best thing to do is not touch any of these things maybe just blow some air and uh, that'll be it take the silica packet this would be the most um, suitable place for you to shove in the uh, silica packet just be a little careful with it keep it like that and uh, you're good to go so applying a thin layer of glue or the rubber gasket maker and just carefully position this on the top and gently lower it in place the most important thing that you have to keep in mind here is to shove the silica gel packet inside in such a way that it's a clean fix that's that don't worry about the excess showing outside once it dries it's pretty easy to clean a complete fix and 
the job's well done i would say take the screws put them back in place So that's that, all nicely packed and fixed and I now know for a fact that even if water gets in, my silica gel pad that's here will absorb the excess moisture and uh, will keep my console clean. There will be no shorting happening in the circuit. So that's how you go about doing things. That's how you go about fixing this issue, which seems to be um, a universal problem. It's not just the Indian bikes, it's across the globe. Every single person who's owned a Himalayan would uh, at some point of time find that water tends to seep in. So uh, let's hope this video has been of some kind of help to people out there who own Himalayans and I very strongly believe that this is a um, level one um, DIY um, anybody uh, with some patience can go about doing this fixing this and uh, if you like the video kindly give it a thumbs up hit the like button and do subscribe to the channel I shall continue to put out a lot of DIY maintenance fixing things kind of videos and uh, will try my best to entertain you people. Thank you.